She wants to go into the silo with all the dead people. How do crowbars work? What the heck? So she she shoves the crowbar into this crack in the door. Into like the the top of the door. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The top yeah. of the door. She hangs on it. Doesn't work. She like tries to get on herself. top of it. Yeah. To apply some downward force. Okay. Yep. Okay. Jolty stuff. Okay, so my question was, how do crowbars work to open doors? Because, so, she fits okay. the crowbar. This is the solid metal door. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to see. This is the solid metal frame of the door. Oh, she shoves the straight crowbar into there. And the door opens inward. So, so gosh, okay, that's a lot going on. So, so I don't know in this scenario, but I am familiar with firefighters breaking okay. doors, and they they use crowbars for that. Um, good point, though, that it's a metal door because when I've seen it with firefighters on wood doors, there's two things that they're trying to do. Okay. One is they're either trying to attack the door latch, so like where okay. the so the, here's a doorknob, there's a plunger that goes into into the latch in the wall, so you can either just rip that out. In which case, yep. if you rip it out, the door's not locked anymore. Yep. The other thing that they may try to do is, so, so that's, if, if it's just a door frame, you try to yep. break the door frame. The other yep. thing you could try to do is attack the door. And so yep. you try to you try to wedge it enough so that way mm -hmm. it's no longer, the plunger is no longer in, in the, the catch. What did I call it before? Either way. Yep. Um, and then if you can dislodge the plunger, then the door swings open. Yep. And I guess the third thing, which... The third thing is by trying to wedge the door, you could mess up the hinges. You could like disalign them if there's space over there and then mm -hmm. the door will, will be open. But all of those arguments I've just made now for for wooden doors where there's flex. Yeah. So I don't know how that applies to this, what I assume is steel, heavy, strong steel. Right, so all of those fireman techniques require that deformation of like the wood or something. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. probably multiple people with like big hammers, like whoa, well, bam, well, bam. Um, <laughs> whereas this is a single person without a hammer, with a with a solid metal, probably steel door. Yep, it's just not going to deform with the forces that we're giving it. Although, if it's a large door and you apply a yep. force in the end, you may not need a lot of force to just just dislodge it a little bit, a little bit, break a seal. Yep. So I guess this is so hard to see because the episode is so dark. so dark. This is the crowbar right here. Yep. And the pivot point is up here. And not, not the pivot point of not not the pivot point of the door. The pivot right. point of the crowbar. The crowbar. So that the end is lodged in. in it's secure into into place. It's not going to rotate. The rest of the crowbar is going to rotate down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's this crowbar is going to apply a force on the door, down. Yep. Roughly. Yep. Yep. And that's because Juliet is over here to the left. She's like hanging off of it, pulling it down. So she's got mm -hmm. a large moment arm with a relatively small force. Her body she's weight. got a tiny moment arm. So it's going to be a huge force. Mm -hmm. And so torque. it just has to like push it in, right? Push just it in. to dislodge it, break it, break, this, break whatever is catching the door. Right. So I don't think she's over. She can't be overcoming a lock because it was just like this big, like bolt right. locks. Right. Like no way. But if it's just like stuck on like a, a little groove maybe groove, she can overcome yeah. that is that let's play it play it again maybe play it again let's see right when it opens okay okay body weight yep. large moment arm yep probably a factor of 20 to 50. something like that yeah Oh yeah, so right at that point. Let's Careful, look at that again. Right when it breaks. So I'll find yeah. So first of all, so, it's sealed. It's it's sealed yeah. tight because we see all the the dust get blown off. Yeah. Oh, it actually yeah, it actually, so guess, it actually moves down a little bit. I guess she's lowering the door. And maybe is yeah. that the catch there? That catch right next to the right behind the crowbar. This this right here. Maybe that's the catch that it's that's that's first of all terrible security. <laughs> it's, it's so mm. small. 
but I think I guess. that mechanism with the lever inside is not engaged, which I think is okay. the main lock. I think this that catch might just be like an alignment catch. Mm. Fill in blanks the registration here. Registration pin. Mm -hmm. And so she knows that somehow that if she can overcome that catch, she's good. Yes. And the hinges assuming on it's this, not locked. The hinges, the steel hinges on this steel door, is <laughs> so flexy. Oh but yeah, so flexy. I, maybe I, gosh, I don't have a good intuition for this. I'm surprised by how flexy. But yeah, I'm so. You're, so you're also, talking about this this downward movement down. Right, right. Because that means in the hinge, if you look at your door, it's like the the two metal panels with a pin. Yeah, that means that this is pretty flexy. Pretty flexy. Pretty loose. Mm. Yeah. Pretty loose. Yeah. Maybe that's how it's designed to work. But once that once that mechanism is kachunk into place, it doesn't. It's solid. Mm. And, I don't know how those hinges were. There's some <laughs> some advanced hinging. Also, I noticed just now, she jolts. Why does that feel right? Because it feels like you can give a large amount of force in a short amount of time. Yeah, I guess if you hang on it like she's been doing, you get an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second down. Yep. Whereas if you jolt... For a short, short amount of time, you could get much higher than a, than a G, mm -hmm. which would be correspondingly higher on the push by the crowbar. Right. And if she's that, just looking for that little like movement yeah. out of place, a jolt could work. Just to overcome whatever static friction is mm -hmm. holding that door in place. If yeah. it's a rust or something, I don't know. Yeah. But should she be pulling? Because then she, at most, she can generate is a little bit more than body weight. Right. Right. So, because uh, now that I'm thinking about it, if she wants sustained force, I think she wants to pull from the ground up. Yeah. Like, a, <clears throat> like, yeah, yeah. Wedge the crowbar in the bottom of the door and then effectively yep. just do a deadlift. Yeah. And I think you can, most people who are fit can deadlift much more than their body weight. Oh, yeah. So, if she wants a sustained force, I think it's lift up from the ground. However, if she wants to do this jolty stuff, that might be better from the top down. Because you can like you can give yourself a fall and then grab. Yeah, as opposed to being on the ground, setting up for a deadlift, and then doing a rapid jump. <laughs> right. I, I, in that case, you're working against oh, my gravity. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, oh, my lumbar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my L5. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe this is right. And you don't want to have extended arms because then the loosey goosiness of your shoulders slows right. down that impulse. Slows so, it yeah, down. Maybe she's doing the right thing, actually. So she locks in at her, the crook of her elbow. Yep. Okay. Tighten up the lats. Make it super tight and super secure. Yep. Okay. So, so, so a summary. I think Julia has knowledge about the door, and there's a yep. catch. She She's knows if she can before. overcome the catch, then she can move the door. So mm. she goes up, and does the top of the door. So it, the door will move down, and that assists her with the jolt, which means higher force. So she can overcome the catch, and once she pushes it in, if she knows it'll swing. Okay. Okay. She's only seen this door one time from the other side when she was leaving when she was leaving the first silo. Maybe maybe the design diagrams for the door are down in the down deep and she was uh, she was uh she was a studier. I would also be okay with she is just mechanical genius. She saw it one time. She's like, I'll, I'll save that for later. <laughs> save that for later. Look at that catch. Look at the look at that on the door. As she walks out to her death, she's just keeping everything in mind. She's going through there <laughs> criticizing you like, hey, you really should change this engineer here. <laughs> yeah. 